Hi everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. Uh, today I have a project share video. I made two cards this week that I wanted to show you guys and I thought I would do it for the hashtag Satmorn Makes, which is sponsored by Jill Norwood, who is Greenwood Girl Designs here on YouTube. I'll link her down below. Hi Jill, if you're watching. Um, I made some really pretty cards today or this week and they're both stamped and colored in and I had so much fun making them, so I can't wait to share them with you. I've got my iced coffee ready and I wanted to go ahead and show you what I used to create the first card. So uh, just if you're new, I would love if you'd stick around and subscribe. And if you're a subscriber, thanks for coming back. All right, so I picked up this on eBay and I shared it in my Friday haul video yesterday. This is an older set by Susan Branch of rubber stamps and it's got some really, really cute springy gardeny stamps. So. Um, I love Susan Branch and I love the theme, so I was glad to find this on eBay. So I used that and I used a Prima flower that I had gotten on clearance at Hobby Lobby a while back. I used some of my favorite gingham paper from MFT. This is a tiny check 6x6 paper pack. I used my Aqua Shimmer pen from Tonic Studios and this one is Glitter Gloss. I love this. It's like um, Wink of Stella, but I just, I, I like to use this one better, so I used that. Um, I used this paper pad. This is one of my newer favorites. Um, it's by Kaisercraft and it's called Miss Betty. It's a six and a half inch paper pad. I used a couple of papers from here. Next, I used um, a few dies. I used two of this nesting set that I had gotten from Allie um, a long time ago. I will try and find it in my order history and link it down below because it's a great uh, nesting set that I use quite often. Speaking of nesting sets, I also use this one. This one has little like crosshatch designs and some stitching on it. So I love this one. This is by Uniquely Creative. And I don't remember where I got this either. I'm sorry, I, I never remember shops. It's either like a cherry on top or the frantic stamper, one of those. If you wanna know, let me know. I'll try and find that too. I used a paper from this new paper pad from Recollections that you can find at Michael's now. And this has some really pretty like florals and just kind of vintagey papers I just love. I used my standby Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to do stamping. I used a little bit of, did I use this one? No, actually this is from the next card, but I used sponge sugar in the next card. This one I used speckled egg, which is a really pretty soft blue color. And for both cards, I used Astro Bright Smooth Cardstock, 110 pound in um, Astro White. And I used this to do my stamping on. I get this at Walmart and um, they have it at Target as well. So let me just move these over. Okay, and let me show you the card. Uh, this is the one I made, it's about six by six. And I just love the soft colors. Pink and green go together so nicely. I used two of the stamps from the Susan Branch pack. I used the, the fence stamp and then the sentiment that says to plant a seed is a hopeful deed. I used my alcohol markers to color. I had gotten some new ones at uh, from Zoo Lily Spectrum Noir markers that I should have brought over, but I didn't. Um, but they're like really soft colors, and I thought uh, that would be perfect for this stamp. Um, I also used that aqua shimmer up here and on the bottom, as you could see, a little bit of shimmer, and I used it on the flower as well. I used the Distress Oxide uh, around the edges of the stamped image just to give it a little depth. The Direct back of that one is a paper from Miss Betty. This pink is from the French Chateau paper pad. And you can see that little crosshatch design uh, stamp or die, I love that one. And then this is from Miss Betty as well, the floral, and then this is the MFT gingham on the back. So a few different layers, but it's still pretty flat besides the Prima flower. So, you know, that kind of messes up the mailing of it, but I just, I thought it really went well with it. So <clears throat> I figured I would go ahead and deal with that when the time came. So that's the outside of the card. On the inside, I put some more of that pink paper cut out with the that die set from AliExpress, and I added another stamp from the Susan Branch set that is a radish seed packet with little seeds popping out. I just thought that was a nice touch on the inside of the card. 
and the back I put the little B stamp and then my logo. This paper is kind of textured so it kind of got blurry but um it doesn't really matter it's the back of the card so that's my card it's about six by six i hope you like it i had a lot of fun coloring it doing the subtle shading for the for the fence so um easy to color and i think it came out really nicely so there's that one let me take a sip of my coffee and we'll move on to the next one Okay, these were the markers that I used in the last card that I'd forgotten to bring over. I figured since I had to get up, I might as well uh, pick these pick these up and show them to you. They're Chic Neutrals by Spectrum Noir. So there's that. Okay, so for the second card, these are the products that I used. Like I said, I used the Spun Sugar Distress Oxide. I used a little bit of Diamond Stickles, which is my favorite uh, whitish stickles. I used this circle die that came in a nesting set from AliExpress. I'll try and find that and link them below. It makes a, it cuts out a circle and also leaves a stitch border on the, on the outside. I used this one like I did in the last one again. And did I use this one? I don't think I did. I just brought it over just in case, but no, I don't think I used that. And for papers, I used a collection that Gina from Scrapinology recently sent me. I won in a giveaway on her channel. Thanks, Gina. I love these papers. These are from Stamp It Up, I believe, and they're very festive, and I thought they'd be good for a bir birthday card. That's what um, I actually made for uh, this card. I used one thing from this uh, sticker pack, and this is by Rosie Studio, the Arabesque Collection. I just used a star sticker. I used my new die set from Impression Obsession, and this one is called Trims. This one's designed by Anna White. Hi, Anna. Oh, I love this set. It's so great, especially this rickrack with the stitch line that goes through the middle. That's what I used. I love it. Can't get enough of it. I used this stamp that I got from Hampton Art. It's actually from Hobby Lobby from uh, the clearance section. And I used the cake stamp and the happy birthday to you. I think I used another one too on the inside. I think I used Make-A-Wish. But uh, yeah, let's get to it and I'll show you the card that I made. So this is it. And I love it. I love the simplicity of it. Uh, as you can see, I used the two stamps that I just mentioned on the front. And I had fun making the cake kind of chocolatey, caramelly looking. Uh, the person I'm giving it to loves chocolate. So that's what I figured I would go with. And I tried to make the cake stand kind of look like an old like jadeite cake stand. And I added some pink candles. And that's where I added the diamond stickles just on the on the flame to make it look a little sparkly. The sponge sugar di distress oxide is around the circle part. And um, here's that trim that I cut out of that, the, um, out of the Stampin' Up! paper. They're all Stampin' Up! papers, of course, besides one that I stamped on. Here's that star from the Miss Rosie's collection. And I really like this like jade color paper. I think it really coordinates well with the with the cake stand. And then for the background, I used one of the really loud papers. I like to use those for like uh, bases and then put like a subtle or subtle, more subtle page on top of it just to kind of tone it down a little bit. But all the colors go together, of course, because they are from the same collection, which makes picking out your papers easy. So that's the front. The inside is very simple. I wrapped around the trim from the front and just uh, glued it onto the front of the card or the inside of the card. Oh, oh yeah, I used the I used the make a wish and then I also used the birthday hat stamp as well. Um, I did use that large set from AliExpress there to cut out the pink square to for the uh, you know to write the sentiment in. This yellow car card that I use for the base it just came from a, a random 12 by 12 paper I have in my stash. I think it's from Basil. And then the back, I just added my logo. So there's that, and I'll make a pretty envelope to go with it and mail it off. This one is very nice and flat. It'll take two stamps because it's a square, but that's okay. Um, I'll write with that, and it's a little heavy too, but I think because of the square, it'll take two stamps, but 
no biggie. So those are my projects today. Um, I hope you like them. I had so much fun making them. Thanks again, Jill, for uh, sponsoring this hashtag because I have so much fun creating for it. And most of all, I have fun looking at everybody else's projects as well. It's really fun. So if you have any questions, let me know. I will try and link what I can down below if you have like product questions. But anything you know, I don't answer, feel free to, to ask. So thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye now.